Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue working in our method book on the trombone with line 33, Little Fish. So let's look and see what we have. We always start with our bass clef, and then we have our key signature. We have two flats. They will always be in the same order, starting with B flat located on the second line. This tells us that all Bs are flat. And then we always follow that with an E flat if there's more than one flat. The E flat is located on the third space, and it tells us that any E that we come across is played as E flat. Then we have our time signature. We are in three, four time, and the top number tells us how many beats are in every measure. The bottom number tells us the value of the whole note. Even though we don't have a whole note, we still use the information to figure out what value to give to all of the other notes and rests. So we're going to start there. If we have a whole note that gets four beats, half of a whole is a half, half of four is two, so the half notes get two beats. And then half of a half is a quarter, half of two is one, so the quarter notes and the quarter rest get one beat. Next, half of a quarter is an eighth, and half of one is half. So the eighth notes that we have in Little Fish are beamed together, so they come in pairs. So we have two eighth notes at the very beginning, and then we have two eighth notes that lead us into the second line. They are connected by a beam, and if we have half a beat plus half a beat, that equals one beat, two eighth notes take up as much time as a single quarter note. So we start at the beginning. We have two eighth notes in a measure all by themselves. Well, that can't be right because we're in three, four time. We have to have three beats in a measure. In this case, this is a pickup or an anacrusis. And when that happens, instead of starting on beat one, we have a partial measure. So we're starting on beat three, leading up to the downbeat of the first full measure. So we have our anacrusis here, and then the two eighth notes at the end of the fourth full measure are actually an anacrusis into measure five. So we're going to go through and look for patterns and see how to play this. So we start with two eighth note B flats, first position, and then we skip up to the third line, which is D, that's in fourth position. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. There we go. So we have three quarter note Ds, and then we go up to first position F, then E flat in third, going down scale, D is in fourth, C in sixth, B flat in first, and then we work our way back up, C, and then D. We hold that D for two counts, and then we have two eighth notes to repeat the same pattern. B flat, C, one to six. Then on the second line, we have the same exact thing that we had before, three Ds, Skip up to the F, work your way down the scale, E flat, D, C, B flat, C, but then we end on a B flat half note first position. Typically, that quarter rest that follows would not be there, and that missing third beat would be displaced to the very beginning, but we do have the quarter rest there, and that's okay. We have that sometimes. So since we are starting on beat three and not beat one, I'm going to give you a full measure and then two extra beats. So I'll count you off. One, two, three, ready, <gasps> dut, dut, and that'll be your beginning. So I hope you're able to keep up and play along, and here we go. One, two, three, ready. <laughs> So don't forget to start all of your notes with a t sound. I hope this helps you, and we'll see you next time.